Welcome, Mark with Diesel Laptops here. In this video, we're going to be going over manual connection mode in the agricultural software. To get started, we're going to click on the desktop launcher icon here. If you don't have the desktop launcher, please feel free to call into our tech support at 888-983-1975, option 2, and they can get it installed for you. It ties all of our other applications into one central location, and it also has been incorporated into the JAL test software. When we open up, we have our diagnostics, and then we have our repair information section. We're going to click on the JAL test diagnostic software to get started. Once JAL test is open, we are automatically brought to the auto screen as indicated up here at the top right. But we're going to be going over manual connections here. So to the right, we're going to go to manual and this applies for agricultural vehicles, off highway vehicles and trucks. So those, all three of those softwares, and you can launch them all through this screen just like this, but it is going to be in accordance with the software that you have. So to come down to agricultural vehicles, I come down here and I double click and now I have to select the manufacturer. It took me one page forward. Um, this is the window you'll be brought to first. Their manufacturer list is on the left hand side here or right here in the center. You can click either one you prefer. We're going to go through a John Deere 7R tractor for today. So I'm going to click on John Deere here from the left and then I have to select the family. So I'll go to 7 series and then finally 7R series. Now we have a system selection here. We can do an all system scan, a main system scan, frequent tests, maintenance reset and a manual diagnosis or you can come and run a all system scan versus a main system scan all system scan is going to cover vast majority of ecms that are on a vehicle uh, the main system scan is going to focus on the engine transmission hydraulics that kind of thing so i'm going to double click on all system scan and then up here at the top right i have a connector icon so when i click on that there's two different types of connection available for this vehicle there may be several others depending on what type of vehicle you're using and how many diagnostic ports are on that vehicle. Um, that's more manufacturer specific vehicles. These John Deere's are kind of easy. Um, as we see, we only have two connection modes here, but it displays when you click on it, the information about that connection mode, the connector part number and the connector plus its location for you. So once I have all my connections made, my communication box is hardwired to the vehicle. I can come up and run the system scan up here. Click on it. We'll click next. Once the system scan has completed, it'll notify us up here at the left side of the screen, and then it'll tell us on the right hand side how many ECMs that it detected. The name of the ECM here is displayed for us, a description, and the fault code indicator, as well as the numerical count of how many fault codes are in that module. You can expand these modules one at a time by clicking the plus sign, or then clicking the minus sign, and you'll have your OEM fault code information here, a description, some information about that. Fault code there listed here. We have freeze frame data. If I click on the I, see my priority, last uh, occurrence, hours, last occurrence, warning lamp, system state here. If I go over to the right in the center here and click on help and components of the fault, it's going to tell me the sensor or whatever is related to that. And then we can click on see information about the component. And it's going to give us a detailed description of that sensor and the wiring. You know, all different types of very helpful things uh, that's going to be vehicle specific with what you're working on. And then on the right hand side, we can go to the diagram. Once inside the wiring diagram, we have our ECM here in the center. If I hover over it, it shows me a picture of that ECM. The component in the fault code that we clicked on is highlighted for us here with its pins and then its according pins to the ECM. When we hover over it, we get that picture of where it's at. You can resize this with the plus and minus. And then we can navigate through all the different pages of the ECM using these two arrows down here at the bottom. And then to get back, we can come up and go to the diagnostic menu. And now we're back to where we left off. We can hit the back arrow at the top right. And then we can minimize these once we're done with that fault code information. You can expand all the fault codes at the same time using this plus sign up at the top. Or you can use the trash can to try and clear all inactive fault codes for all the modules. So now to directly connect to a module, I'm going to click on it. Say I want to hook up to the engine. And now I'm going to come up to the top right and click connect. You can also double click on that module and it'll connect that way. Once we're in here, we can read fault codes, clear fault codes, review system data. We can do some parameter monitoring, actuate components, some system checks, parameters, and that's going to be the adjusting of parameters where you can come in here and do your ejectors and things of that nature. Maintenance. These are going to be things like your regens. You'll find all these actions underneath your maintenance section. The back arrow again. Calibration of components and our live data recorder. Thank you very much for viewing, and I hope this was very helpful for you.